Uh, my name is Arby Federgren. I'm the chair of the Decision Risk and Operations Division of the Business School. And uh, the Deming Center is not only the, the first, but certainly the premier center of our, of our department and of our division, and a true source of pride. Um, and so, as the current chair of the division, I'm here to express the, uh, the sentiments of the entire faculty which is number one, to join in the congratulations for the two awardees, um, Doug and Ramon, and also to participate in what will follow in just a few minutes, which is the commemoration for the lifetime achievements of Sergio Marchione, who was a true partner to the division and we've had the opportunity to interact with at many occasions. One of the many activities and initiatives of the Deming Center is what we refer to as the Deming Center Fellowships to PhD students, um, which have been initiated in order to support and enable uh, research projects undertaken by PhD students in conjunction and in partnerships with companies. And um, since its inception in 2011, the Deming Center has been able to fund no less than 58 of these fellowships, which are selected from annual proposals, literally in the hundreds and thousands, in a very selective manner. And it's one of our great sources of pride of what the center is able to do. And it's able to do so only because of your support, because the other thing that, the, that we as a faculty want to express tonight is and what a salute tonight is the ongoing and growing and increasing support that all of you are providing on an ongoing basis during the entire year and in particular tonight in being here. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And we invite you to increase the collaboration on many, there's so many challenging and interesting problems out there that we're all facing, and together we can do better than each on our own. We've proven that in the past, and we'll prove that even more in the future. As one of such example, I'm here tonight and excited and, to, and pleased to introduce one of the PhD students who's been supported by a Deming Center Fellowship. His name is Jay Liu, or he's otherwise referred to as Jeff Liu. I had the personal privilege of supervising a good part of his research together with my uh, former uh, former coach chair of the of the division, Costis McLaris, and he'll give us in just two or three minutes a little bit of a flavor of what you are enabling with your support. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. It's my great honor to be here tonight and share two of my research projects supported by the Deming Doctoral Fellowship. The first project focuses on the revenue management of ride hailing systems like Uber and Lyft. A challenging feature is decentralization. Drivers are self-interested and make strategic decisions on whether to join and where to route themselves in the network. A key motivation for our research is the demand imbalances across the geographically dispersed networks. Our analysis of the New York City taxi trip data showed significant demand imbalances throughout the day. For example, during the morning and evening rush hours, flows from uptown to midtown and flows in the opposite direction can be as different as 10 times. To tackle these challenges, we study how platforms operational controls can impact system performance by considering both demand-side admission control and supply-side repositioning control. With empirical evidence and theoretical analysis, we show that platform controls result in more efficient use of transportation capacity. And counterintuitively, the platform can improve the overall value by strategic rejection of demand. We also find that the more imbalanced the system is, the more value platform controls can yield. And it is particularly encouraging that riders and drivers 
both benefit under normal market conditions. The second project is on global dual sourcing. Manufacturing companies and retail chains often have access to two alternative supply sources, the offshore suppliers of lower cost but longer lead times, and the onshore suppliers with quick response but higher cost. So this trade-off between cost and responsiveness brings challenges and also opportunities to the inventory management. We've seen a reversal of a trend from offshoring in the past few decades to onshoring recently because of the narrowed cost gap, bigger appreciation for quick response strategies, and now tariffs, quotas, and the escalating trade wars. So, uh, as a result, our goal is to provide theoretical insights and applicable guidance to the strategic design of the supply networks. We're very excited that our general dual sourcing model not only incorporates major practical complications, but also yields optimal dual sourcing strategies with simple structures. A company adopting our strategy can get 10% cost savings, even though only 5% is procured from the fast supplier. That's quite remarkable. We also find that the cost savings can increase when the two suppliers are more differentiated, when the demand is more volatile, and when higher service level is desired. In summary, it's exciting to conduct research that bridges the gap between theory and practice, and it's particularly rewarding to contribute insights to operational improvements. I'd like to take this chance to express my sincere gratitude to the Deming Center, and thank you all for listening.